Robots are no longer just machines. They're evolving into living technology. Around the world, engineers are creating robots that can walk, swim, and even change their shape like living creatures. But one breakthrough has stunned everyone, a shape-shifting AI robot that can twist and morph into almost anything. This could be the moment that changes robotics forever. What if a single robot could become a walker, a drone, or even armor, all by itself? That's exactly what scientists at UC Berkeley have just made possible. Working with teams from Carnegie Mellon and Georgia Tech, they've developed something extraordinary. A new kind of AI-powered robot that can physically reshape itself to handle different tasks. It's not science fiction anymore. These machines can fold, twist, and rebuild their entire structure on command. This invention is based on what researchers call Metatrust Robotics, robots made from hundreds of tiny beams and joints that can rearrange themselves into entirely new forms. Imagine a robot that starts out as a flat sheet, then curls into a crawler or folds into a protective shell. The possibilities are endless, from space exploration and construction to medical equipment that adapts to the human body. But the real challenge wasn't building these parts, it was teaching them how to move together. You see, the more flexible a robot becomes, the more complex it is to control. Each joint, each beam, needs its own motor or actuator. And when you have hundreds of them, the coordination becomes nearly impossible. Engineers used to spend weeks manually grouping actuators into control networks, trying to get everything to move in sync. It was slow, frustrating, and not scalable at all. That's where AI came to the rescue. The Berkeley team used a genetic algorithm, a type of artificial intelligence inspired by evolution itself. It works by testing thousands of possible control setups, learning from each one, and slowly improving the design, just like natural selection. Over time, the AI figures out which combination of control units gives the best results with the least complexity. Instead of needing hundreds of separate control signals, the AI discovered that it could achieve all the same shape changes, movements, and manipulations with far fewer controls. It found a sweet spot where the robot could stay efficient but still perform complex tasks like walking, lifting, and folding into new shapes. The prototypes proved it worked. The researchers built a lobster-inspired walker, a twisting tentacle arm, and several small shape-changing machines, all powered by this new AI system. Each robot performed smooth, natural movements that surprised even the scientists who made them. Lead researcher Zhen Zhang compared the process to how human muscles work. We don't control every single muscle fiber separately. Our brains group them into coordinated patterns that move together. The AI did the same with the robot's joints, creating movement that looked more alive than mechanical. Now, the team is taking this concept even further by combining it with generative AI, the same kind used in creative tools. Soon, you might be able to type in your idea, like a self-adjusting helmet and the system will design and program a working model automatically. Meanwhile, across the world in China, scientists have been building something completely different. A robot so tiny and light that it can walk on water. At the Guangdong University of Technology, together with Guang Polytechnic Normal University, researchers created a soft robot that weighs only 8 milligrams, lighter than a single grain of rice. Yet, this little creature can run, climb, and even carry objects heavier than itself. What makes it special is how it reacts to its surroundings. Most small robots can only respond to one kind of trigger, like light or heat. But this one reacts to three, heat, humidity, and magnetic fields. That might sound simple, but it's actually a huge scientific achievement. In older designs, mixing signals made robots confused. For example, if heat made it expand while magnetism pulled it another way, it would stop working properly. But this new design keeps every response separate and stable, allowing the robot to move smoothly in any environment. Here's how they built it. The main body is made from a thin polyamide film that changes shape when exposed to heat or moisture. On top of that, scientists added a layer of silicone rubber filled with magnetic particles made of neodymium, iron, and boron. Together, these three layers create a perfect balance. One part reacts to temperature, another to moisture, and the last one responds to magnets. On water, it can move at a speed of nearly 10 centimeters per second about the same as a real water beetle. On land, it rolls forward using a special gait driven by a magnetic field, allowing it to climb small slopes and move easily between land and water. Despite weighing almost nothing, it can carry objects 2.5 times heavier than itself. 
In one test, it moved a tiny pebble across a surface, dropped it off using a quick pulse of infrared light, and then returned to its starting point, completing a full pickup and delivery cycle. For a robot that small, that's a huge step forward. Scientists believe these micro-machines could have real-world uses very soon. Swarms of them could inspect underwater pipelines, monitor pollution in wetlands, or even help during disaster recovery by reaching places humans can't. In the future, miniaturized versions might work inside the human body, delivering medicine or repairing tissue in areas too delicate for surgery. Soft robotics is one of the fastest growing fields today, and this invention shows just how far it can go. Other teams in South Korea are already experimenting with magnetic robot swarms that unclog medical tubes. But what makes this Chinese model stand out is its multi-response system, allowing it to adapt to more than one type of environment. That's the kind of versatility that could redefine how we use robots, not just as tools, but as tiny helpers that can survive and work anywhere. And while China pushes the limits of size and flexibility, South Korea is taking the opposite approach, building robots that can move, think, and even learn like humans. The Korea Institute of Science and Technology, together with LG Electronics and LG AI Research, is preparing to unveil their new humanoid robot called KPX. KPX isn't just another humanoid robot made to copy human movements. Powered by LG's advanced Exa-1 vision language model, this robot uses artificial intelligence to process what it sees, hears, and feels, then decides how to act. It has a multi-fingered robotic hand that can sense touch almost like human skin and uses reinforcement learning to improve over time. It can adapt to unpredictable situations, whether it's helping workers in a factory, assisting in hospitals, or operating in environments too dangerous for humans. South Korea's goal isn't just to join the robot race between the United States and China. It's to become a global leader by developing its own humanoid technology from the ground up. Researchers at KIST say their target is to make C-A-P-E-E-X fully commercial within four years. By doing this, Korea hopes to make humanoid robots not just research experiments, but everyday partners in workplaces and homes. In London, a digital actress named Tilly Norwood has become one of the most talked about figures in Hollywood. Created by a studio called Particle 6, Tilly looks and talks like a real person. She even has her own Instagram and made her debut in a short comedy sketch filled with AI-generated characters. The video went viral, but not for the reasons the creators expected. Viewers called it eerie and unnatural, pointing out strange glitches like blurred teeth and robotic dialogue. Yet, despite the criticism, interest in virtual actors is growing. Some talent agencies are already talking to AI studios about signing digital performers. However, not everyone is thrilled. The Actors Union in the US, S-A-G-A-F-T-R-A, -A, has strongly opposed the idea, saying creativity should remain human-centered. They argue that these AI characters are trained on real actors' performances, without permission or payment. Back in South Korea, robotics is also becoming part of everyday culture. Seoul recently hosted its first AI robot sports festival, where humanoid robots competed in sprinting, archery, and even weightlifting. Families watched as machines fired arrows at spinning targets or raced down tracks with surprising speed. There were also exoskeleton races where people wore robotic suits to test their strength, and a robot challenge zone where kids competed against robot arms in simple games. The goal wasn't just fun. It was to help people see robots as part of daily life, not distant technology. And in the industrial world, Korea is pushing robotics even further. At CASE, engineers revealed a spider-like welding robot called Dindin 30 that can crawl on steel walls and ceilings inside shipyards. It already passed tests at Samsung Heavy Industries and is being upgraded for painting and welding tasks. Another company, Your Robotics, showcased a humanoid that can walk through crowded streets without cameras, using only internal balance systems to navigate any surface. That's the next level of autonomy. So here's the big question. Would it help you build, explore, protect, or create? The possibilities are endless, and the future of robotics has only just begun. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. The next generation of robots might be listening.